this is Downware, and I decided, now that I got this uh, new thing for Christmas here, this fancy shit, I can capture Xbox 360 gameplay. And I've played uh, Dragon Age Origins about 8 million times, so I guess we're going to make it 8 million and 1. Ooh, scary dragon logo. EA Sports, it's in the game. Except this isn't sports, so it's not in the game or something. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't played this game, it's pretty sweet. Um, I decided I'm gonna make this video series, I think I'll call it Dragon Age Asshole Edition. So basically, the idea of it's gonna be, um, I'm going to play through the game, making as many asshole decisions as possible, which is probably gonna make the game pretty goddamn hard to actually beat, considering I'm gonna be pissing off people and killing NPCs that could be helpful and that kind of shit, but it should be entertaining for you fucks, so hey. I'll also probably from time to time let you guys uh, help me make decisions just in the interest of uh, making things interesting. And so is the Golden City back and with each step you take in my own marvel of perfection of his plane you have to run to snow and to the world. Canticle of Threnities, whatever the fuck that means. Fuck the Bible. Yes, I know that's not really in the Bible, but hey. The so. Chantry teaches us but it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. Isn't that always the way? The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. Dicks! Bastards! They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the dogs. Also known as YouTube commenters. Commenters, that is. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. Ooh, spooky! And ugly. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads. The dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Sucks to be you. Dwarves! Gee, I wonder if some people decided to make a game after they watched Lord of the Rings. Just a hunch. Dark spawns is. Until. The Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race. Warriors and mages. Barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness. And prevail. In this case, they're gonna be fucking dickbags and prevail. Most likely. Cause you know, I'm awesome and everything. Get him, or Aragorn! Oh, I mean, uh, Dragon Age Cursin. This is not Lord of the Rings, we swear. Oh, snap! It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. Good old Jesus. Here he we is to save the day. Now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Look out, Jesus! It's the Jews! Crucify her for Owned! Oh man, Jesus is badass! Bitch! It may even be too late. For I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Lots of sticks tied together to nail Make people a... on. That oh, shit ain't cool at all. Dun, dun, dun. It always seems wrong to make a chick character and then make her be a fucking bitch. It's easier to make a guy character and make him be a dickhead. We'll make him a guy. If people like this shit, maybe I'll show you all the different uh, opening origin type things. The game kind of, you start off as your origin, like your race and which class you picked and shit, and there's a specific origin story for that. Then it kind of branches off, 
uh, well, no, never mind. It goes back into one linear story, which with some minor differences depending on who you picked. But anyway, uh, let's see. I think I'll go with a uh, an elf who's like a city elf because there's a really cool evil decision I can make in the beginning. Oh yeah, I like rogues because, like Penny Arcade says, rogues do it in the butt or something. Yeah, I'm sure that's I'm sure that's what it was. I'm sure that's what that Penny Arcade shirt is. Anyway, I'm a rogue. Because I'm a roguish motherfucker. City elf. You've always lived under the heavy thumb of your human overlords, but when a local lord claiming his privilege with the bride shatters your wedding day, the simmering racial tensions explode in a rain of vengeance. Race war! Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's see. What should I name this fucking... Oh, wait. In honor of my buddy Black Hero. <laughs> I know what I'm going to call him. Oh, yeah. Man. See, this is one of the fun things about playing on the Xbox. No keyboards. Now I got to use the controller to type the shit in. This is Black Hero playing as Man Sheasel. For Rizzle. Oh, damn. Nah, too many letters. I was going to make him <laughs> Man Sheasel for Rizzle. But I'll just use Man Sheasel. That's not a little fit. Greetings. Greetings! Hello! I may be an elf, but Orange does not want to blow me and put his thingy in my butt. Orange loves elves, in case you haven't noticed. Ah, uh, we'll just make this easy. Let's see. Alright, presets. Uh, we'll... Ugh! Uh, what the... Gee. Which one of these looks like a man chisel? Oh, I think I know. <laughs> What's up, bitch? You want a piece of the man chisel? I don't think you do! I'll go for that one. He looks kind of like a dick. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll edit his voice. Let's see what kind of choices we got. I have lost concentration. Oh, that's real wise. How do you do? Hey, man, chisel. Greetings. 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 Gay. Charmed, I'm sure. Pretty gay. Greetings. <laughs> that's violent. Oh, my spell. Oh, my spell! Uh, generate jizz! It failed! Charmed, I'm sure. Uh, indeed. That was pretty slick. Either that or cocky. How do you do? I'll go cocky. Because it's got... It's got cocky in it. I mean, cock. Whatever. I like... I really like being able to talk people into doing just about anything I want. Which is fun. So I'll get some cunning. Pretty sure that helps that. Coercion's always good. I'll... Give him that one. Uh, he already starts with one. Sweet! Well, I'm gonna be a dick anyway, so I might as well just steal people's shit. So, yeah, I should probably pick that one. Yeah, we'll go stealing. Five finger discount for Rizzo! Okay, difficulty? Normal! That's right, I pussed out. I ain't doing that hard shit, motherfucker. It's gonna be hard enough when I'm being a dickbag to everybody and they're all pissed off at me. Denarim, Help me! The largest city and capital of Ferelden. It's where all the ghetto elves live. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves to humans. And though they've been free for many generations now, they are far from equals. Here they live in a walled-off community known as the Alienage, working as servants and laborers when they can. Despite these hardships, Denerim's elves are a strong people who take pride in their close community. This is the only world you've ever known. Until now. Wake up, cousin. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. Bitch, I'm drunk! Jeez. Why are you in my room, Shiani? What, you're shy now? I sweet-talked your father into letting me share the good news. You do remember what today is, don't you? It's the day I kill my nosy cousin bitch who's a ginger freak. Summer day? <laughs> According to your breath, it's get drunk before noon day. You fucking lush. No, you idiot. You're getting married today. And Soros, too. That's what I came to tell you. Your bride... I swear to God, it better not be a guy. Here early. Oh. Oh, okay, good. I don't like the idea of this arranged match business. 
And who else are you going to marry? Besides, not you, you ugly cunt. She's beautiful. Yeah, sure. I'll take your word for it, you drunken. Decorations, feasting, weddings are so much fun. You're so lucky. I know. <laughs> you just want to get to the drinking. Which won't happen until you get going. She doesn't Let's deny do it. it. All right, I'll stop tormenting you. I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside. So move it. All right, bitches, I'm going to stop here. This is Downware, and good day for now.